Hey what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Microsoft Teams for project management. If you didn't know already, Microsoft Teams has become the central hub for managing projects, programs and entire portfolios. It brings together communication, content, tasks, meetings and more to boost collaboration, productivity and delivery. So in this guide, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage Teams to master project management from end to end. Let's dive right into the video. Starting with structuring teams, channels and groups. The foundation of Microsoft Teams is establishing your organizational structure correctly using teams, channels and groups. And this includes creating a program team. So start by creating a team at the overall program level. So for example, if you're running an IT infrastructure program, then you create a team with a similar name. And this represents the overarching portfolio container for all of your related projects and the resources. The second thing is to add project channels. So within your program team, create dedicated channels to represent each individual project. So for my own project example, I may want to create channels like these ones. And so on for each project that rolls up into the broader program team. Think of channels as focused work streams under the whole umbrella kind of team. The third step is building project groups. So you can further organize resources within channels using the groups. And these allow you to bring together only the people needed for that project channel based on role, department, etc. So for example, for the channels I already created, I might have additional groups like these ones. And this keeps teams separated so the right people get access to the right channels and content. So in summary, for the example project of IT infrastructure, that would be the program itself. And for the channels, it would be individual projects. And for the groups, they would be resources by role. And this three-tier hierarchy keeps everything aligned yet separated as your portfolio scales up. After that comes the project communication using posts. The posts tab within your team channel is the central communications hub for your project. Posts work like chat messages visible in real time to your entire project team. Unlike email, posts enable quick conversations, questions, feedback and status updates on the fly. So to write a post, simply click the pencil icon at the bottom of the posts tab and this opens a text box. And here you can format a text, add mention colleagues, attach all kinds of files, add photos and more using the formatting toolbar. When your message is ready, click the arrow icon to post it into the channel. And for the critical announcement that you want to emphasize, click the three dot on your post and select mark as important. And this flags the post with an exclamation icon to signal its urgency so people don't miss it. After that, you can utilize getting feedback and approvals by at mention stakeholders in your post to get their attention right away and feedback. For official approvals, click the three dots and select ask for approval, assign approvers and track status. And if your channel gets busy, then use the search bar to find posts by keyword or name. You can also save key posts as pinned for quick access later on. So in summary, use posts for conversations, announcements, approvals, questions, status updates, and more. It's so much faster and more effective than email. You can also use the files tab within your channel to store and share all important project documents and collateral. And this would include things like presentations, specifications, contracts, budgets, and so much more. With Teams built-in SharePoint integration, your files are accessible 24 seven to your team, from any device or location with no more emailing files around. Set up a clear folder structure with subfolders to categorize and organize related project documents. I would highly encourage using descriptive names and date or version numbers so the latest file is obvious. This would prevent confusion about which version is accurate. With shared files, you get true real-time co-authoring. Multiple people can work on the same file at the same time. And beyond just your team, you can still share files by clicking on share, and after that, you will get a unique link to send to stakeholders outside your team for access. But remember to set permissions, expiration dates, and password protection. So in summary, files keep all your project content organized and accessible in one place to supercharge your team. And finally, you can integrate external tools and applications. This is a major benefit of Teams, which is its extensibility using tabs to integrate external tools right into channels. Some popular project management integrations would include Trello, Asana, and Rike. You can also embed web applications, custom-built apps, SharePoint lists, and so much more. This allows Microsoft Teams to centralize work happening across a variety of platforms. 
And as you can see, using a free tool such as MS Teams could be a huge lifesaver when it comes to project management. So to get started, establish your team structure, build out a sample project channel, end-to-end -end and document to process. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.